sticking with a liquid aeration product. I like the next DIY aerate product. It's got some potassium in it, so that's great for times of stress. You can use it all through the summer. It's got humic acid in it. I don't see any reason why, especially with the data that John Perry gathered from the experiment that uh, him and his team conducted to show that this actually does break the bonds in the soil and it's not just a gimmick. Yeah, no, there's no information in, the, in that study and I'm going to get into it in more detail, but there's no information that sh says that it breaks these bonds in the soil. I can only assume that he's talking maybe about breaking down the organic matter, possibly. I, I don't know what the scam is. It's hard for me to think like a BS artist, but if, if the scam is it's going to break apart the soil particles, I'm, I'm thinking it's because it's potassium hydroxide. I'm thinking maybe their argument is it'll help break down the organic matter. I think, but that's not going to alleviate compaction. If their argument is somehow it's going to break apart the soil particles, you don't want to do that. In almost any case, you do not want to break down the soil particles and dis disaggregate or disperse the soil any further than you have to. Granted, air airification, corification is going to break that down as well. But like I said, you do that only in cases where you have no other solution, no other option. That's the solution to your problem is core airifying. If you have a legitimate a case where corification is needed, then the soil has been physically compacted. The mass of solids in the soil has been compressed into a smaller volume. Applying a product like aerate, explain to me how potassium hydroxide and humic acids would do that. You have to, you have to, add, you have to, uh, the, the airification, the corification is going to pull out those the more dense cores and you're going to assume you're going to either break them up or spread back in sand or something, whatever, however you're going to deal with the, core, the holes when you're done. But the, the holes when they're filled back in, either from the cores that have been broken up or from top dressing sand is going to be less dense than the cores that were, were removed. The cores that were removed are going to be more dense than the holes when you refill them. That's the pro and that's the reason you have to have 10 to 15% by the, of the area aerified in order to have a meaningful effect. Applying a product like, this, product like this is not going to somehow move the particles apart or have result in fewer, less, less mass in a volume.